Hello everyone, Brian here, and today I've got a game of Modern Warfare 2 for you. This is Domination on High Rise. A couple things I want to talk to you guys about today and let you know about. First thing is a little bit of a new community that was set up recently by Fisticuffs, Redneck, and Mercu. It's called G1 Unity. I think it's a really cool thing they're trying to do, and it's not your typical community channel like we may be used to. What it is, is just a group of many of us smaller commentators for us to network and get to know each other and basically help support each other. You don't post videos to it like a regular community channel. The way they have it set up is they have regular Skype meetings, normally once a week, sometimes twice a week, where everyone that is interested just goes into a Skype chat. Once you're there, you can talk to and get to know a lot of other commentators and other players in the game. And sometime during the course of that meeting, you'll submit a link to a video that you want to be listed. And Redneck will go back and post an update video with all the links that were submitted during the course of that meeting. And basically what you do is just, like I said, help support other commentators that are struggling to get started. You watch and comment, like each other's videos, leave tips and suggestions as to how we can all improve. And by doing that and helping support each other, you gain more views for your videos, you gain some more ratings, you know, some helpful tips and suggestions and comments. And if someone really likes your stuff, you're going to gain some more subscribers as well. So I definitely recommend anyone that has a smaller channel and is interested in participating to go check that out. I will leave a link to that channel in the description so you can keep tabs on it and check up on when the next meeting is going to be. Because I don't think you guys are going to see this in time to make today's meeting. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is something I'm sure everyone can relate to and some of you have probably done it before and have had it happen to you before as well. It seems like playing on Xbox Live at times can bring out the worst in us. I mean, I'm no angel, I admit that without question. Since I've played with many, many of you over the last several months, I'm sure plenty of you could corroborate how I can be at times when I start raging. You know, at times when I see people running around one man army noob tubing the entire game and just playing like total dicks. I even though I'm an older guy, I can still rage a little bit and start, you know, swearing like a sailor and cursing people out and sometimes even I can't help myself and when I start to get like that if I'm not in a party with you guys, sometimes it's best if I just turn off my microphone. But as you're gonna see in the upper right hand corner right now, I'm playing a game of domination on Skid Row and out of nowhere, this fucking retard with a riot shield decided to start following me around and pinning me in a corner and just making the game miserable for me and trying to do everything he could to keep me from being able to play and enjoy the game. I mean, honestly, up until this point of the night, I was having some really good games as you're watching now on High Rise. I was nice and calm. I was having a great time playing. And I was just at a loss to try to figure out what brought this on for this kid to, to start playing like that and acting like that. And every single time my name popped up on this kid's screen, up until the point Wombus died, he just kept following me everywhere I went. I just don't know. I mean, right here you're looking at it again. I'm going to take a couple shots down the alleyway. I don't know if the kid sees my name or whatever, but I see the riot shield come hauling ass down the hallway, so I'm out of there. I just don't want to be around this kid. I just want to play the game. I mean, what the hell is wrong with him? So I'm just, you know, trying to cap the A flag now, and he's right at my side again. Oh, at least he helped me take the flag a little bit quicker. I mean, that was a, the only bonus to it. I mean, I don't know if you guys can help explain it and help me figure it out. I mean, was the kid having some kind of grand seizure? Is he off his meds or whatever meds he's on? Did they wear off for the night? I mean, have you guys ever seen that or experienced that before where out of nowhere, you know, someone just follows you around and starts doing stuff like that to you? I mean, I know we've all heard people talk all kinds of trash to each other in the lobbies and in between games. You know, sometimes people say some pretty mean things, and a lot of times it gets actually pretty racial as well. You know, people start flexing their Xbox Live muscles, acting how tough they are. You know, in real life, they're probably nothing but a 100-pound pussy that would never dream of saying anything like that to you in person, because they get their ass fucking kicked. But, you know, what possesses people to start doing stupid shit like that in the game? I mean, right here, again, I ran into him. He was camping that little corner down in you know, that tunnel and he's hot on my tail again so what do I got to do? I just got to keep doing laps of the map. What the hell are you going to do with a kid like that? I guess when his parents went to school they didn't have a health class and they didn't have sex education and never learned about the word contraception because look at one condom could have prevented. I mean a kid like that is nothing but, it should be nothing but a poster boy for birth control. 
But enough about that douchebag. Let's take a look at what we got going on here on High Rise. Well, let's recap what we've seen so far, shall we? So far, you guys have seen me survive the enemy team Harrier and Chopper Gunner while defending the beef flag like a boss. And what have you seen from me so far as far as kill streaks go? You guys have seen a Harrier and you've seen a Chopper Gunner so far. So the question then becomes, what is the third kill streak? I mean, what else is there above 11? Let's see, we got the EMP. I mean, I know I made a stupid mistake before. Oh, nope, there it is. There it is. Did I even fool any of you guys even for a split second? No, uh, the third kill streak I had set up for this game was a tactical nuke. I just figured, what the hell? I haven't gone for one in quite some time since I played in the PS3. And as I leveled up so far, I only unlocked the Predator Missile, the Harrier, Pavlo, Chopper Gunner, and then the AC-130 in that order. And since I just was able to unlock one more kill streak the other night, I went ahead and unlocked the nuke. And since I've been having some really good games the last few nights, I figured, oh, let's see if I can do this again. You know, I got 10 the first time around, and then I quit, so let's see what I can do. You know, the one thing I didn't think of, though, since it was still early enough in the game that I was playing pretty well, is I probably could have went for a double nuke and done something I've never, ever achieved before. Not that I even tried that many times, but maybe I'll try it in the future. If you guys wouldn't mind, leave me a rating before you leave. And as always, I hope you really enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you soon, and I hope you have a good one.